Welcome to another ABC Grab and Go on demand webcast. In this webcast, we're going to cover how to perform a parked or stationary regen. If this symbol appears on your dash, this is letting you know that your DPF soot level is high and you need to perform a regeneration. There are two ways to perform a regeneration. First, you could try to get up to highway speeds and let the coach do it on its own, which is what is called a passive regeneration. Or the second way is to pull off somewhere safe away from any trash or anything flammable and perform a force or stationary regeneration. If you ignore this symbol, the coach will derate and possibly shut down. Now that we've pulled off to the side of the road in a safe area and away from any flammable objects, we need to turn a few things off on the coach. First, you need to turn off your AC system. This will be your switch with the snowflake symbol. So go ahead and push the top of that switch. And then next, we need to turn off the cruise control. After you've turned off your AC system and your cruise control, let's make sure the high idle is off. Now we're ready to start with the next steps to doing the force regen. Now put your foot on the brake and release the park brake. Do not remove your foot from the brake while the park brake is released. Now we're ready for our next step to put the transmission in drive. Now that the park brake has been released and our foot is still on the brake, we can put the transmission into drive. Once it's been accepted that it's in drive, we can go ahead and go back to neutral. Remember, do not take your foot off the brake until you've reapplied the park brake. Now that we've put the transmission in drive and back to neutral, let's go ahead and reapply the park brake. Now we're ready for the next step. Now we can go to the back of the bus and push the force regen switch. Now that you're at the back of the coach, ensure there is nothing flammable around the exhaust as temperatures could increase up to 1800 degrees. With the engine still in idle, you're going to go ahead and push the force regeneration switch. If you have a Cummings engine, you will hold the switch for two to five seconds or until the engine RPMs increase. If you have a Detroit engine, it could take 5 to 10 seconds or until the engine RPMs increase. Once the engine RPMs increase, you'll take your finger off the button and let the regen perform. This could take anywhere from 30 minutes up to an hour, depending on how suited up your DPF filters are. Do not touch the brake or any of the switches to disengage the regeneration or you will have to start the process again. If you forget the steps in the video, you can always go to the back of the coach and find the regen process for your engine model, whether it be a Cummins or Detroit, which will be located here. And this concludes our grab and go on demand webcast. For questions regarding this webcast, please contact ABC Technical Service Department at 877-427-7278. Listen for the prompts for coach technical support and select the appropriate option. Support is available 24-7.